Stadium. What a run. She can't quite believe it. Big smiles all round. As those are the three. Mazer, Host and Kirschgasser. But it's Slovenia who will take home glory from France. Thanks to the fantastic performance of Tina Mazer. Here's confirmation. Tina Mazer finishing in first place then. Nikki Hosp in second with Michaela Kirschgasser who led for so long in third place. And confirmation of the minor placings as well. Well, this course in Maribel proving to be really tough, costing even the great Maria Hoffelreich a place on the podium. She was unable to finish after a mistake. A cartwheel of success, Tina Mazer won't get any style points for that but plenty for her performance on the downhill and in the slalom a brilliant weekend for Tina Mazer following up on second place in the downhill with victory in the super combined Hello there, some nice looking skiing conditions to be had across Europe and across North America as well. We'll begin in France at Coteray here, getting on for six metres of snow on the upper slopes, a little bit less further down the mountains. Excellent conditions on the pistes and excellent conditions at many of our Italian resorts as well. Take Cortina for an example, 170 centimetres of snow on the upper slopes there, 50 centimetres on the lower slopes. The last snow was on the 21st of February. Now it has been quite an unsettled weekend across the Alps, an area of low pressure has been in charge but that's gradually beginning to pull away so by Monday things look a little bit drier and a little more settled. Some pretty decent conditions to get out and about and uh, enjoy all that snow. Across the Pyrenees could see a few snow flurries at times but there will be some drier spells in between and for many of our alpine resorts as I said it'll be fine and dry on Monday with some bright spells here and there but we could well see some fresh snow as the weather system pushes through Bulgaria. There's also some fresh snow to come on Monday across the Rockies, an area of low pressure swinging in from the Pacific. This weather front uh, bringing some quite heavy snowfall at times. So that will add to conditions which are already quite good, actually. A big sky, excellent conditions here. 203 centimetres of snow on the upper slopes. The last snow on the 22nd of February. Uh, for Canada, in Fernie, 251 centimetres of snow and uh, nice powder conditions out there on the piste. If you are out skiing through the next few days, enjoy it. You can get more details on our website. Good morning and welcome back to our coverage of the Track Cycling World Championships from Minsk in Belarus. The British team travelled there young, relatively inexperienced, no Hoy, no Pendleton. But as we enter this final day of competition, they sit on top of the medal table with some quite stunning performances. <laughs> 